Hey folks, after three years I'm finally back with the buffet who I called back in 2019, the best buffet of Las Vegas. So let's see if the Win Buffet still lives up to these high standards. The prices have of course gone up due to inflation and other things like overall resort greed. The breakfast option which was $38.99 was recently terminated and the weekday brunch now starts at $46.99 which is everything else than cheap. One thing I have to point out to you are the lines at the Win Buffet as they can be up to crazy two and a half hours long. No kidding. What you see here is a line in front of the line or second line. Call it as you like. So I wish you a lot of fun with this massive buffet and from time to time I'll get back to you with a few notes and of course with my conclusion at the end of the video.
The pizza at Win has the quality of a good Italian restaurant and is among the three best buffet pizzas in Las Vegas. You know what I think about a pizza in a high-end buffet like this one. But here we can easily make an exception for one slice. Enjoy. The Asia station at Wynn is great and the quality is on par with the Bacchanal Buffet at Caesars. Just not quite as big in terms of selection. You can expect a good selection of dumplings. Korean kimchi and small but delicious poke bowls, as well as a rich selection of high quality sushi. The sushi, in my opinion, is what stands out at the Asia station. But now to the important seafood area. Unfortunately, no classic crab legs. But there were generous Jonah crab claws instead. This type of crab is always a real struggle for me. I would call it a battle. I prefer those delicious marinated clams. And especially those big peeled shrimp that had a really good size. But my personal go for is the smoked salmon. I can only say that this delicious fat fish pumped full with super healthy omega-3 fats was my personal favorite at the seafood station. What a quality. Looks amazing. The best I had this trip in Vegas so far. This is amazing. This is high quality. Guys, you know my personal love of life are the meat stations in a good buffet. A love that no woman will ever match. The win offers a wide range of high quality meat specialties such as marinated chicken wings, bacon or beef brisket. The beef brisket was tender and as always I like the high quality fat. The heavily peppered bacon was juicy and also really good. Meat plate number two had ham and pork loin, which is also one of my favorites. It wasn't overdone, nice, tender and juicy. The brisket was so good that I got myself a second plate. This time I took something from the grilled pineapple, a new and interesting combination for me.
The massive dessert station is perhaps the best in Las Vegas. Installed during the pandemic, these wonderful candy tubes are magical, don't you think? All of these small, highly aesthetic desserts are made for the eye and I wish most of them tasted half as good as they look. Nonetheless, many desserts are delicious and since they are so small you can easily fill a plate with them. So no big food waste. Classic is the wheel of ice cream, which is no longer available at Aria, because the brain dead management over there decided to install a useless food court for their fantastic buffet. Like I said, Edwin, they are smarter. And the wheel of ice cream is something I wouldn't want to miss. By the way, the cherry ice cream was delicious. If one thing has history in Las Vegas, it's warm bread pudding for dessert. This one at Wins is sensational. Which is also sensational is their crepe station. We paid $15 for a crepe at the crepery at the Paris Hotel. And here at the Win, we got that included. What a great value. Overall, the desserts at Win would be worth their own video. Personally, I think the desserts at Win are much better than at the Bacchanal Buffet. My final thoughts on the condition of the Win Buffet in 2023. The prices have of course increased significantly since 2020, even up to $71 for the weekend dinner. In view of the now very sad overall buffet situation in Vegas, a brunch for $46.99 is at least acceptable. I recommend getting there early to avoid the massive lines at Win. This video was hard work and if you want to give something back, I welcome you as a subscriber. Until the next food massacre.